Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi Shinobi be here with a vlog um, unboxing. I got a package today. Uh, nothing super duper spectacular from CS Toys or Ami Ami or anything, but uh, I'll cover that later. Um, one thing I did want to address before any of you lose attention and just close this video altogether. Um, Riders, Rangers, and Rambles. Uh, the podcast, we've got over a thousand subscribers. And uh, that's that's absolutely fantastic. I never would have thought that the podcast would be this popular. Um, I mean, I can see why. I'll be cocky in that aspect. But um, I just wasn't really expecting that at all. And um, in May, I upgraded the account to a basic premium or whatever it was. And they gave us 100 gigabytes of bandwidth. I figured that would be enough for just a simple audio podcast. Um, apparently, uh, getting so many hits, um, depletes the bandwidth quite fast. Mostly has to do with the fact that the podcast is actually a fairly big file size, um, because it's an enhanced podcast and everything, and I do like bringing that to the table, so, I mean, I'm not gonna get rid of the advanced podcasts, advanced, enhanced podcasts, uh, mostly because I think having the show notes and links inside of the podcast for those that play with, like, QuickTime and iTunes and stuff, um, is very, very, very vital, I think, so, uh, that's why I do it, and I hope it does help, um, but anyway, um, I got an email this morning, actually, that, um, we've reached our bandwidth limit, that means that, uh, episode 9, which went up, uh, last Thursday, gone, all the old episodes, gone, they're not gone, but the public can't access them, um, I mean, they're there, it's just, they cut off the uh, access to the server so you can't download the episodes. So in a nutshell, that means we can't, we can upload things, but we can't host anything until August 1st, because that's our monthly bandwidth. Um, problem being, it's July 19th, and there's still two episodes set to go live in July. My options are either to host it on Mega Upload, I'll still do the post on the uh, the Podbean blog thing, um, just to alert everyone, but I would have to upload both the M4A and the MP3 on Mega Upload and host them that way, meaning those that just check through iTunes won't know it's out, so you'd have to check the website. Or I can upgrade the account to a professional account, uh, and then we'll have unlimited everything. Uh, which would be really, really great. Problem being that it's $100 a year, not a month, a year. Uh, which isn't that really bad at all, but it's just not something we can do out of our pockets right now, considering July happened. And uh, you'll see why. But, um, so, basically, the thing is, I'm gonna have to beg for donations here. <laughs> Um, you can you can donate by going to RidersRangersAndRambles.com and clicking the donate button um, through PayPal. So if, if you got anything to spare, that's probably higher than a dollar because by the time PayPal fees go into account, a dollar comes like twenty cents, and that's just not that worth it. Um, five bucks, ten bucks, anything. Um, as long as we get a fair amount of people to donate five dollars here or there, we'll get to the hundred in no time, and uh, that would be great. Um, if we can keep that up, we wouldn't have to worry about hosting at all, because everything is unlimited once you get a professional account. So, um, if you could please donate, uh, I don't particularly like begging for money, but, um, it's just something that we really, really need, because I wasn't expecting the podcast to be this popular in the slightest. Um, in fact, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm surprised, because, I mean, I think we're doing a hell of a good job at being entertaining compared to other Toku podcasts. But, um, it's just that I wasn't expecting the popularity to be this big to the fact that we would go over 100 gigabytes of bandwidth. So, um, I left a message in, uh, my, my channel comments, and you can check out the message at RidersRangersAndRambles.com. Uh, and, in fact, you can check that out right here. And uh, that would be absolutely great if you guys could donate. Uh, hopefully we can get to that 100 mark in no time upgrade and we won't have to worry about uh, outside hosting at all. 
So, uh, sorry for that, like, five-minute ramble about the podcast, but, um, it, it means a lot to me that, uh, so many people are listening and, uh, supporting us, so, uh, so if we can get any sort of donations out of this, um, it would be really, really greatly appreciated, so, uh, thanks in advance, hopefully we get some donations, uh, and we can keep this going, because I know people like it, and I want to be able to keep doing it, so... I'm enough rambling. Uh, you can check that out at the podcast site. So, uh, this was a package from JP of Range Board and HJU and probably a bunch of other sites. Um, he was selling some of his figure arts, and I reaped the benefits. Um, I've been hunting after this guy for quite a while, and his price just got so expensive, but I got him from a good deal from, uh, from JP. Can't disclose how much. And here he is. He's opened, obviously, but JP is a really good collector. He takes care of his stuff. So I'm not worried at all. And here we have Kamen Rider Kuga. Amazing, mighty form. Um, very, very nice looking matte finish. Oh, Skull is going to get a beat down this review. So anyway, he is here. He is looking sharp. He is probably my favorite form of Kuga besides Ultimate Form. Uh, just because I totally dig the color scheme. But uh, thanks to JP for selling this to me, and thanks for Dawson Rider for finding it and showing it to me. Um, really, really awesome, and expect a review of that sometime this week. Gao will be going up tonight sometime. Um, and then I still have the Agito and Blade Memories to go up, and the uh, Tel Aviv Magazine review to go up. Uh, those will be also be going out this week. Um, I should be getting my memories... The Gash Bonds have four about Thursday or so. Um, those will probably go up early next week. Um, and then I'm also getting New Dino Vega 4 message figure at some time. That got shipped via the Mandrake shop. Uh, no, no idea when that's getting here. Um, and I'll be getting one other package with an Excellular. And the holder from uh, Hydro Flyer 2.0 on HG. Um, but I probably won't do an unboxing for that. It's just an old Sentai changer. Uh, no really big. I wasn't even playing. I'm reviewing it. So um, that'll be here some probably tomorrow. But uh, no unboxing for that. The next unboxing will probably be the CS Toys package. And Vega Form whenever it gets here. Um, I did win Zek Trooper and Neo Trooper from, uh, from Yahoo Japan via Rider Proxy. Um, I don't know when I'm getting that shipped, though, so. I'll, I'll tell you when I do, basically. And, uh, big, huge package from AmiAmi. Ami. That's not getting shipped until later, though. I've had those pre-ordered for a while, but everything's finally starting to trickle in, so it'll be shipped. Uh, at the end of the month when Exceed Deals come out. So, look forward to all that. Um, donate to the podcast if you can. Um, Riders, Rangers, and Rambles.com. So that's really about all. Um, I don't feel like rambling all too much. I want to open up Amazing Mighty. And I have a basement to clean. So take care. Have a great one. And uh, I look forward to hopefully receiving some donations. Take care.